I will do a bit more on how to make a reversal index. In the previous video, we found all of the gloss fields that had only a single word in them, and we copied them into the reversals English field. And here we can see one of those words that got copied. So once we have copied some words in, then we don't need to deal with those entries anymore. So I now want to exclude those from my search. And the best way to do that is to filter on the reversals field. That's where I was putting them. Um, if, I, if I just wanna see what got in, I can filter for non-blanks and I see there's 830. So these are the ones that have a reversal entry. But I want the ones where I have not filled it in yet. So now I will filter for blanks. So these are the ones that remain to be filled in. So there's still 5,835 that need it. So I filtered on morph type. I only have stem and bound stem. That was one level of constraint. And now I've filtered on the reversals field for only blanks. That's a second level of constraint. And now I'm gonna do yet another level of constraint. Now, one thing I can do is just the same thing I did before, but this time let's do it with two words instead of one word. So let's filter for and regular expression. And I'm just gonna type it this time, beginning of the line, any character is not a space or percent or question mark. We'll end that set and the plus means one or more. Okay, so that means one or more things that's not any of those characters. I'm going to copy that. I'm using my arrow and shift to select it. I'm typing control C. Now I'm gonna type a space. So I do want one space, and then I want that followed by letters that are not a space. So I just copied that expression. And then the dollar sign gives me the end, end of the line. So this says, find me, all of the entries with exactly one space in them. So I will click OK. Now we're showing 5835. So let's click OK. And now it's showing 480, OK? And most of these look like they have two words. Ah, but some of them have this K. OK, I want to deal with those a bit later. And some of them have parentheses. So in a minute, I'll constrain my filter to exclude those. What else do I see here? Um, a lot of these look perfectly fine. Um, here's another one with a parenthesis, but those are actually okay. Um, you know, most of these look pretty good. But I think just for kicks, I'm gonna say I haven't figured out what the parentheses mean. So I'm gonna constrain this a bit more. I'm gonna add the open paren here. And again, I need to escape it because parentheses is part of the syntax for regular expressions. So now I'm saying the second word should not contain a parenthesis. I'm allowing it in the first word. So I will click okay. And now we're down to 349 words. So I will scroll and I said to go to the end. That looks okay. Interesting, here's some with commas. That's probably okay. We'll take those. And now here's one with a semicolon. Let's remember this and come back and look at it later, tokon. Um, and there may be more with a semicolon. There was another one. C ocean, so remember C1 as well as Tokon. Okay, I wanna go up to the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring these over. So in this case, if the target field is not empty, I want it to do nothing because if it already has a word, I've already done it. Now I've filtered out the ones that have the words, but just in case something got through, I'll leave this do nothing ticked. So I will do a preview. And you can scroll down briefly, it looks okay. And I will click apply. And so now those are there. Now the number changed a bit, I'm not sure why. If I 
change this to show non blanks, then I can see. Ah, okay, let me take this filter off, show all. We now have 1,179 reversal entries. So that is how to make a reversal out of two word sequences. Um, I'm gonna come back to the K in a second, but let me stop this video here.